exists on a spectrum. One of the biggest, hugest mistakes our sex negative society makes is putting everything in black and white. The best and maybe only way to solve this problem is for people to understand that there are no nice shiny boxes. Or if there are shiny boxes, there are an infinite number of them. Enough to put all of the people who currently exist have ever existed and will ever exist. Back in my bags and giving the academy your rain check. So an asexual person is someone who doesn't experience sexual attraction. Um, I don't feel an intrinsic desire to make sex a part of my relationship with other people. It's different than celibacy. Celibacy is a choice. Celibate right. people choose not to have sex. Asexual people aren't intrinsically drawn to it, toward sex, but may or may not choose to have it. I, like many asexual people, I still have a romantic orientation. Um, asexual people can still want to form romantic relationships with um, men, with women, with men and women, with a whole wide range of genders. So those are people asexual and gay, asexual and bi, asexual and straight. I'm a little bit bigger, but then I'll admit I'm just the same as I was. Now don't you understand? I'm never changing who I am. It's time to be. trust ourselves and we understand ourselves and we love and respect ourselves and we grant that same understanding and respect to the people around us. Because when the world becomes one of infinite continuums and those false dichotomies break down and those two shiny boxes break apart into seven billion shiny boxes, that's actually pretty beautiful. <laughs>